righteousness, and he was called, called the friend of God. God. Yes. Mm -hmm. So read the 24. Ye see then that by works a man is justified, and not by faith only. So when you, if you believe, you're going to uh, be obedient to what he's saying. Yeah. If, if God says come, you don't go, you come. If he says go, then you go. He told the lepers, go show yourself to the priest. And as they went, they were healed. Now nobody's, as they went. And, and nothing said that they uh, were healed before they started going. As they went, they were healed. They weren't healed just, you know, when they were standing there. It said as they went to the priest, they were healed. Oh, Lord. All right. I'm going to move here. Mm -hmm. Whatever's next. Seven, one through six. Mm -hmm. Then said the high priest, Are these things so? And he said, Men and brethren and fathers, hearken. The God of glory appeared unto our father Abraham when he was in Mesopotamia. Now, if they gave, if they, he's giving a recount of what God did for our forefathers. Mm -hmm. So we can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Read on. Before he dwelt in the land, mm -hmm. and said unto him, Get thee out of the country and from thy kindred, and come into the land which I shall show thee. Then came he out of the land of the Chaldeans, and dwelt in Haran. And from there, when his father was dead, he removed him into this land, in which ye shall now dwell. And he gave him no inheritance in it, no, not so much as he set his foot on. Yet he promised that he would give it to him for possession, and to his seed after him, when as yet he had no child. And God spoke in this way, that his seed should sojourn in a land, strange land, and that they should bring them into bondage, and ill treat them four hundred years. So, see, what he was telling them, you go, he gave him a glimpse of what he was going to have to go through That's right. before he got to the promised land. He gave him a glimpse of it. But it's, uh, uh, he doesn't do everybody that way. Sometimes because he, and he didn't really do him that way at the beginning. He says, I want you to come out of early journey and go to a land that I will show you. He didn't tell him where he was going. Or, or, or what it was going to be when he got there. But as Abram began to follow God, then God could just let him lead him on. And, and he was, well, he, he just led him on. That's, I guess, all I'm trying to say. Because he was obedient. And so that's what we have to do is be obedient to the first thing. You know, sometimes we don't want to be obedient to the first things. We want big things all at once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you be obedient to the first thing, and then the second thing will come along. Yeah. Yeah. He so. told. He, I remember he told the Israelites that I will expand your territory as you are ready for it. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. One more scripture. We're just about. Genesis twenty-five, seven, and eight. Mm-hmm. And these are the days of the years of Abraham's life, which he lived, a hundred, threescore, and fifteen years. Then Abraham died in a good old age, an old man, and full of years, and was gathered to his people. Now, I just wanted you to see, God told him he was going to give him a long, beautiful life. And if that's not long... 175 years. <laughs> that's right, 175 years. Wow. That was pretty good, huh? Can't even imagine. I just wonder what he looks like. Kind of look good. You think so? Yes, yeah. I just can't imagine living life and finding things to do for five years. I guess God takes that's care of all that. That's something else. <laughs> 175 years. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Huh. I couldn't imagine. That's 100. We were at that place to, at, to get the stove the other day, and the man come out. And, man said, how do you think she is talking about me? And uh, 
He said, she's not as old as I am. <laughs> and he was 75. <laughs> <laughs> And she's not as old as I am. I said, well, sir, how old are you? 75. <laughs> Preserved by God. That's right. Well, the great thing about it was it made no problem with them taking us up the freight elevator to the second floor. <laughs> yeah, we got some perks about being old. Perks. But it's all right. Well, I tell you something. I didn't. Uh, I wanted to uh, kind of talk about the uh, our time's gone. The, huh? Oh, okay. Okay. Also, thou shalt not approach unto a woman, a woman to uncover her nakedness. Oh, yeah. That's, wait a minute. <laughs> 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 yeah, that, that, was, that was part of the lesson. But it's another lesson. <laughs> Because you say, oh, yeah, that's why I'm laughing. I don't know why they laugh. <laughs> well, no, I, I had put that down, but it was another, uh, it was another lesson. Okay. <laughs> um, here's what I'm going to tell you, though, and just to, to end this place. I want to say, um, I was going to talk about the 17th verse of that chapter of how God. 18, 17? No, the 15th chapter that we're in, the 17th oh, verse oh. Uh, of uh, 15. 17th verse of 15. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Won't be 
because I'm accepting the 